everyone. So I was on bath duty, so don't mind my wet shirt. Jay-Z's at the age where she's splish splashing and it gets everywhere. But Charlie took over bath duty so I could film this video for y'all and answer a viewer's question, which is, what lace is commonly used in heirloom sewing and what you should look for, what kind of laces there are, and all that sort of stuff. And I remember way back when I was starting heirloom sewing, trying to figure this out and looking online and just being so confused on what is what. So let's break it all down. There are kind of three main types of, of lace with heirloom sewing. And we're talking about lace and heirloom sewing. I mean, you can use a multitude of laces. But what is really common is uh, French lace. And French lace has just like the regular form of French lace. I'm not an expert, but it just has like the regular form of French lace. And then the, the step up, the big step up, is the Malayne lace, if I'm saying that right. And if you look side by side on like the regular French lace and the Malayne lace, you'll see that the Malayne lace is made of a lot more um, thread. So you'll have a lot more of those little tiny holes and it just sparkles a little bit more at you. Not that there's anything wrong with that regular lace. It is it is really pretty and it's a great thing to start, especially if you're just starting. It's a great thing to start because the Malayan lace is a pretty penny. But both are beautiful options. So what then are the types, like the kinds that they come in? Well first there's an edge edging lace and that is just that. It goes around edges. Well, I mean, it's sewing, you do you, but this is designed to go around edges. So things like necklines, um, you know, the bottom of the sleeve, the bottom of uh, like your hem, whatever, edges. And so you'll see on the, this lace has a flat edge. On one side of the lace, it's all flat, and that's the side that you use to attach it to your garment. And then on the other side, there's scallops. And of course, there's a multitude of designs, but it's going to be some flavor of a scalloped edge, and that is going to round out the edge for you and of your garment to a nice little, you know, pretty package. Um, then the next kind of lace, and of, um, of course, this is in no particular order. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head here. But the next type is insertion lace, and that is just that. You insert it into your garment. I have a video on how to do that technique that I will leave linked down below. But you, and if you're a beginner, you could just do the first part of that video and I kind of talk you through that. Um, that you don't have to cut the fabric from, you know, behind. It can be a little bit nerve wracking, particularly if you're just new to this world. But um, if you do cut the fabric from behind, it just sort of sparkles and twinkles at you and it just looks really, really pretty. Now, the third kind is beading lace, and I don't know why they call it beading lace because it has nothing to do with beads. But what it is, is it's insertion lace, so you'll have a flat edge on each side, and then you'll have these lovely little holes that have been woven into the lace. And what these holes will give you is you can take advantage of these and, like, thread a little silk ribbon or something through them and it just looks really pretty. You can do this at the bottom of a sleeve and then have that silk ribbon draw up your sleeve, like kind of gather it for you. You could do it at the bottom of a hem and it's just really a pretty, especially on like new fresh baby gowns, that sort of thing. It's so pretty. Um, so those are like the three main types. Some other things that you might want to know for being new into um, sewing is something called entre deux. And entre deux means between two in French. And um, it just has these little tiny holes that are just, they just sparkle at you. And this is great, um, especially if you don't have a machine that does pin stitching or hem stitching. This will kind of like bridge that gap for you. Now, even though I have a machine that does hem stitching, and whatever it's called, I have that function on my machine, I still love this stuff. It's just, it's just beautiful. Um, you can do them, insert it in between the, the seam, like say you, you have like the shoulder seam or whatever, you can insert it or between like the yoke and the skirt of a dress. It's just, it's, it's a nice little touch and it's really easy to do. And then, um, entre deux is fairly inexpensive, so look into that. Um, another thing you, oh, and entre deux comes in baby entre deux, regular entre deux, and the, the difference between that is the baby entre deux holes are tiny compared to the regular stuff. And I think the last thing that maybe you'd want to know if you're getting into this world without like completely overwhelming you on every single lace there is to know is something called and I might be getting this term wrong I am sure I'm gonna mispronounce it but I think it's called like gallop or something like that 
I don't know, I could be completely wrong with that term. But the, what the lace is, is it's some flavor of an insertion lace on in the middle of it, and then on both sides of it, it has edging lace. And it's one whole piece. And sometimes it's beading lace down that center, and then edging lace is on the on the sides, and you can kind of use this more as a decorative thing. You could put this, you know, across, like, if you have a bonnet, like, you could put it across from one ear to the next, and that looked really pretty. You could, and if it was beaded, you could put your ribbon through there and then have the ribbon tie the bonnet up for you. Um, that would be really darling, wouldn't it? I should do that. But uh, you could put down, like, a, a day gown or something. I mean, it's so, and you do, you take it around with it. But those are, I would say, if you're get, just getting into this world, that's kind of what you need to to do to kind of um, to get acquainted. So I'll leave those videos down below of those lace techniques. Go check them out. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.